and welcome to St. Pete. This is the third episode of my little four part mini Florida road trip series. We're just going to four different locations that are not too far of a drive from us in Fort Lauderdale to explore a little bit of the state that we moved to. Stop one was Captiva, stop two was Sarasota. The weather wasn't great for Sarasota, so we're hoping St. Pete lives up to its little name, Sunny St. Pete. I'm sure I've heard someone say that before. If you don't already know me, my name is Amber. I've moved from the UK to the US in the fall of 2023, and we're on a mission as a family to explore as much of the American culture as possible through travel, food, experience. The only reason that I'm creating content is to try and build a personal brand. The only reason I'm trying to build and monetize a personal brand is to fund a charity that I want to start, which will help raise money for the homeless and veterans in America. So just by watching this video, hitting subscribe, tuning into some more content, helps me get closer to that mission to help others. Anyway, for the trip, we're here in St. Pete for about 24 hours. Like I said, we're just doing some quick pit stops. We arrived about dinner time, and we're gonna go out this evening, have a little walk, a little drink. We do have, little man with us so we are on a restricted time we're staying in a hotel tonight so we are those parents who's going to get locked in at bedtime unfortunately but we're going to do as much as we can before then come along with us and let's see where we end up the birdies to just walk along the pier, have a little look around and then go back, find maybe some little nibbly bits because we had like a big late lunch. So we didn't want too much to eat before he needs to eat. Maybe have a little cocktail, get him back to bedtime, chill out in the hotel. The plan went to plot as soon as we arrived at the pier because it's huge. There's so much here. We got stuck in the play park for like a solid 45 minutes. Uh, there's also a splash park, there's museums, there's stands. I, I've filmed a few bits there, so hopefully you saw enough of it and uh, we've also found this little spot called Doc Ford's Rum Bar and Grill so we're excited to park up there have a little cocktail get Rory some dinner and then we'll wrap up and go back to the hotel for the night and I'll see you guys in the morning so what a lovely evening we are enjoying ourselves so much in St. Pete already and I can already confirm we'll definitely be back <laughs> Good morning! So, funny story, I'm just getting packed up right now. You can probably see the carnage behind me. Um, uh, my little boy's playing in the other room with his nana and papa so I can have some space, but he's going to be back soon, so watch out. I was about to show you our accommodation when I finished packing, but last night as we came in from the pier, we were speaking to the guy at the front desk because he's just a really nice guy, and he told me that this building is going to be demolished. <laughs> in two weeks, they're closing down forever, and it's going to be demolished and turned into condos. So... I'm not gonna recommend this. I was really excited to brag to you about the fact that it only cost us like $100 for the night and it's great and it's walking distance and it's clean and it's comfortable and quiet. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. So anyway, we're getting ready this morning. We're gonna head out, get some breakfast and then we've got a couple of activities to do this morning and then hang out on the beach this afternoon. So come along with us and sorry, I can't recommend somewhere to stay. So downtown St. Pete is not the place to go for breakfast. <laughs> We, it's 10 a.m. and we're just looking for somewhere for breakfast. So obviously Rory is hungry, we're all hungry, and there is absolutely nowhere open. So wish us luck finding something for this boy to eat because he's getting hungry. Well, Josh said that was one of the best coffees he's ever had in his life. So very, very, very good coffee there, but all of the food that we had was terrible. That French toast tasted of nothing and the edges were just really chewy and got stuck in my tea. 
Um, Josh had an overnight oats bowl that again looked delicious but had no flavour whatsoever. And uh, we ordered just a side of toast for Rory. We figured he'd eat some of our fruit and we get him some toast and it came out like rock solid, dry as a bone with absolutely nothing with it. And it was like $5. So strongly wouldn't recommend going there for anything other than coffee, which does mean you're a little bit short on breakfast options here in downtown St. Pete. So maybe we're missing something. Feel free to tell us that we're like one street away from all the restaurants. But I had a quick look on the map and I couldn't see that anything was open at 10 a.m. Um, so yeah, this is obviously a place for, for evenings and it was beautiful last night. And we're enjoying a little walk now. I'm gonna have a little walk and see if we can go past the uh, Dali Museum. We did decide not to go there because we figured Rory's not going to be interested at all. But it would be nice to have just a little look at the outside because it looks like it's quite a cool building. So that's where we're walking now and then we'll head to our next stop. And here I am at the Dali Museum. I'm actually really disappointed that we have Rory with us. I think we're gonna have to come back without him because I did actually used to have a melting clock uh, in one of the very first apartments that I had when I moved out of my parents' house and I, I loved it. That was my first um, knowledge of, of Dali. Like I didn't know who he was at all. Um, but now I've seen some of his work after I got that. I, um, I would actually be really interested to see some more of it. I think it would be really cool because he was kind of a trippy guy. Um, but yeah, we're not going in. I'm just going to have a walk around because I think it's a really cool building and at least I can say I've seen it. Very cool, just as I would expect. So that's it. I'm having just a little walk along the bay side, looking at all the boats imagining it was me it's actually a perfect temperature for walking right now and then we're going to hop into the car and we're heading to fairgrounds which is like an interactive um like art museum exhibition type thing and i know i just said we're not going to Dali because rory would find it boring but this one i think there's a lot of hands-on stuff to do and a lot of stuff for kids too so fingers crossed it's going to be fun for all of us Is it fun? You see everything? Whoa! This is super cool. It was introduced to us as like an art installation of all the weird and wacky things of Florida. And it's all set up like a motel. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. We're playing a couple of the interactive games. We've got a rubber duck hunt. We've got to find the ducks, stamp them on the page, and then Rory will win a rubber duck at the end. And we've also got to uh, hunt for some birds as well. So we're hunting for birds and ticking them off. And you can go in with all the rooms, any of the rooms, as you like. And yeah, this is so cool. I've never seen anything like it. I'll keep showing you guys around. <laughs> oh look it lights things up. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy! Pretend picnic! Mexico is 
walking in a bath and that's something coming from me because I'm I'm a hate cold water but this is just beautiful. Look how clear it is. And look at Rory running about. Run run fast! Run run fast! Come on! <laughs> Man down! <laughs> what a stunning little trip to St Pete. 24 hours is not long enough. We could have been here for five times the amount of time and not done everything. There's so much here to do, including the beaches, obviously, which is a lot of the reason why you're going anywhere in Florida. But yeah, we've had an amazing time. We'll definitely be back here. And that is the end of part three of our little Florida road trip series. So again, like I said at the beginning, if you've watched all the way through, thank you very much. That really does help me. Go ahead and hit subscribe. That helps me too. And there'll be lots more behind the scenes of our trip and the upcoming trips and past trips on TikTok and Instagram and I'll always be vlogging them on here. So if there's anywhere else that you want to see me go to, either on my own, with the family, whatever, then please just drop a comment. Let us know where we should explore because we're completely new to this country and there's so much to see and we want to see it all, particularly food recommendations. <laughs> right, we're now going to get showered up and head to our next stop. So I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.